Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. I'll tell you what, it's been a chilly and a raw day out there across the area, and that trend looks to continue heading into the afternoon hours, but I do think the rain chances will slowly be on the decrease as we get towards late this afternoon heading into the evening hours. But let's talk about the rainfall because, again, we're seeing some beneficial rain considering the drought situation that we've had all across the Tennessee Valley the past couple of months. You know we're getting into that severe drought, which continues to expand across the area, but we had a rain event that brought us about an inch of rainfall last week, and now we're seeing an event that's bringing us about a quarter to a half an inch up to three quarters of an inch of rain across the area. So you can kind of see the area that saw the heaviest rainfall ban overnight and early this morning from northeast Alabama right on up through portions of uh, Marion and Hamilton counties. And that's kind of where you've seen the highest totals and that's in that three quarters of an inch to close to an inch of rainfall. So this area here from Red Bank, Jasper, South Pittsburgh over towards Stevenson and Scottsboro seeing some of the decent rainfall totals. But really everyone has been getting a nice soaking rain and this has been a light soaking rainfall event. So if it's a heavy rain, it tends to run off a lot and it's hard for it to soak into the ground when it's a light, steady rainfall that gives it better chances for it to soak in and do some good. So again, just what the doctor ordered up for us here, but you can see it's starting to break apart a little bit. Now we're losing less and less coverage of that rainfall. So overall, as we go into the afternoon, I expect most of this rain to begin to shift to the north and east. You can see things drying out back towards Nashville and Jackson, Mississippi over towards Memphis. So we will start to see drier conditions arriving here as we go towards late this afternoon. One thing we're not going to see as we go into this afternoon is going to be the sunshine. You can see those clouds extend all the way back to the Mississippi. So uh, as far as any sunshine today, forget about that. Thankfully, all the winter weather will stay mainly off to our north and northwest. So that will be at least some good news for us. So let's talk about your rain chances hour by hour for the rest of this afternoon. Again, pretty high still over the next hour or two. So if you're heading out for lunch, just make sure you keep the umbrella nearby or at least a rain jacket around. But as you get towards two, three o'clock, the kiddos getting ready to get on and off of the school bus this afternoon. Rain chances really start to drop off and by the time you're heading home from work uh, later this afternoon, five, six o'clock in the evening, notice we're pretty much looking at those rain chances over with just some clouds, maybe a little areas of patchy fog if we see at least a little clearing showing up. But overall, not going to be the uh, nicest looking afternoon, but overall we're going to be seeing improving conditions in terms of drier conditions by later today. Here's a look at the temperature map. I want to show you this because the storm system is bringing in warm air ahead of it, but notice the cold air behind it. It's 39 degrees right now in Dallas, so there is some more cold air that's going to be building into the area. Now, I think as we go into this afternoon again, it's going to still stay somewhat mild, but by the time we get towards Thursday, we're going to get that next shot of cold air filtering on into the area. We're not done then because by the end of the week heading into the weekend, we've got even colder air that will try to settle into portions of the eastern half of the country. So the bottom line is it's going to stay cold here over the next seven days, at least across the area. So take a look at your high temperatures forecasting 50 for your Wednesday. Enjoy that if we hit 50 in Chattanooga because we're talking 40s here pretty much all the way through the beginning of next week. We should be in the lower 60s for highs, so that's well below average with overnight lows in the 30s coming up tonight. But notice the rest of the week we're talking overnight lows in the the 20s, we should be averaging a low around 40 degrees. So going into Thanksgiving week, staying below normal. So the cold air may stick around all the way through most of next week. I hope you're enjoying the cold. At least puts you in the festive spirit, right? Here's your seven day forecast. 100% chance of rain through this afternoon, Latrice, but we dry things out. Look at all of that sunshine I'm bringing in the forecast for you, but uh, pay not too much attention to those temperatures. That's not the best news. <laughs> There you go. You can still turn on the fireplace and grab some hot cocoa. That's right. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. Thank you, Cedric.